Okay, so let's say I want to find the least common multiple of these three numbers, 5, 7, and 15. What I would do is set up a tree for each, right? A prime factorization tree. So let's set those up. Because this will easily help us create the multiples. So 5 can be split into 1 by 5 because it's already prime. And circle the prime value there. Remember, 1 is not prime. 7 can be split into 1 times 7. 15 can be split into 3 times 5. And those are both prime. So now, all we have to do right, is find a multiple that all of these numbers go into. And how can we do that? Well, I know that whatever the multiple is of these three numbers needs to include at least 5, at least 7, and at least 3. I don't need to include this 5 a second time because I've already dealt with it here. So my multiple will be 5 times 7 times 3. And if you look at why that makes sense, right, this is 35 times 3. Or if I simplify that, 3 times 30 is 90, 3 times 5 is 15, 90 plus 15 is 105, that's our multiple. What's happening here is that we've made a number that ha has all of these numbers in it. For example, it already has 5, it has 7, but where is 15 here? Well, you can see it, right? It's in the 3 and the 5. And we can multiply it in any order. So we created a multiple of these three numbers, right, by multiplying all the numbers together, but in a way that doesn't repeat anything. I don't want to just multiply 5 and 7 and 15 when I can do it this way. When I take 5 times 7 times 3, I've also multiplied 5 and 7 and 15 without repeating anything, thus creating the least, right, that's the key word, common multiple. All right, thanks.